Hello fencing fans, this is Tim and Tony Perrett. We are up my house in Wiltshire and it is an incredibly wet day. So we've decided that it's time for our Perrett paste plate to be serviced and we wanted to do a little service manual of how we do it. So hopefully that makes it just a bit quicker and easier for you guys out there, uh, the drop and knot crew to do it too. So we're gonna go and grab the machine from around the back, bring it over here and put the actual plate up on this desk because it's a nice working height. We'll show you how we do that safely and, and then Dad's going to show you how we take the post plate apart. Um, yeah. And then we'll put it all back together. Does that sound all right, Dad? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, safe maintenance. Yeah. That's what we want. And so it preserves the life of the plate and makes it safe every day to use. Okay, right, let's get on. Yeah. Hello. So while uh, Tim's gone to get the machine a minute, I thought I'd just lay out a few items that you'll need to service your parrot post plate. Um, we've got a set of spanners here, um, a socket set, um, we've got a spare guard um, and pins, spare pins. Uh, if you need any more um, you can um, get through to us on our website and we'll send Tim or Tony and we'll send you some more. Um, you'll need a bucket uh, to put the pins in that you take out to clean them up um, with some degreaser. So you can see here that I've brought the machine over and for safe removal of the post plate, we first of all need to remove the retaining bolts at the bottom. So we do that by putting the rock spike down, putting the plate on top so everything is safe. Then we have access to the bolts to remove them. Bottom plate off now, We're taking both washers and we put them in a bucket so for safekeeping with all the nuts and washers and bolts. Move the rock spike out and out the way. And then we slowly drop the plate down. And then hopefully you'll see that the, the weight is taken by the trolley. Now we're gonna lift the telemast on Protex. So you can just lift the mast up through the plate. So you'll see that the mast is now lifting. It will lift the weight. I'll lift the weight up so we can see what's going on. Lift the mast up. And that's a really nice safe way and no one's underneath the weight and dad can now pull the trolley out and from underneath. So here we are, we have the plate off now and we can look at the top of the plate and we can see that we need to replace the guard obviously. The matting is used but okay. And if we look over the sides, we're looking at the guards, make sure we're in good order, the rope and the latch. Now we're looking at the pins and ensuring that they are majority that they're there, they're not bent and they're in good work in order and just making note of any ones that need to come out because um, when we can change them in a minute. And lastly, we're just gonna look at the back and ensure the sliders are in a good order. There's a little bit of burring there on the side, but generally good to go. Take the top of the plate off now. We need Allen key on the back bolts here. Not all, uh, some of the newer plates have got bolts right through now. Um, we have adapted it. We did have a bit of trouble with these coming loose, so we've put uh, nuts and bolts right through. But uh, in this case, we've got an Allen key top. Through the back here, we have got bolts right through, so put a socket underneath. I usually tip the pins out on a cloth it's easy to bundle the cloth up together with the pins in and tip into a bucket of uh, degreaser. Dad's <laughs> working on my uh, slightly narrow bench here. At home, he's got a nice wide bench. So if you've got a wider bench, less chance of all the pins going everywhere. I expect that's right, Dad, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. So I've got the plate up on a couple pieces of wood now to give a good clearance. So I can just press out the pins that are stuck. Just have to tap them out usually. They click a bit of tapping sometimes. Sometimes a little hammer is needed. Uh, they do get creosote in them and, and get burred a bit if you're using metal posts underneath. So now we've got all the pins uh, laid on our blanket. Um, we just need to check through, look for any damaged ones. A um, few little broken pieces here. Pins that are broken off, we take them out. Um, a few that are a lot of creosote around them. We can just wipe them off a bit. Yeah, ready to go into the, our bucket for degreasing now. So we just gather the blanket up together a bit. Quite easy. 
all the pins in, pick them up, put them down in the bucket, just tip them out. Really. While the pins are soaking, we take the post plate out to our pressure washer and give it a good blast through, working in a pattern. And then after that, we take our drill and just any burrs we just take off and we run it in reverse usually to do this. So we've washed our plate and now we come back to the pins which have been soaking a bit while we've washing the plate. If you've got um, a bit of work to do to your machine, you leave them soaking a bit more. This is a way of aggravating them in the bucket. You can tip them all about or you can have a, a screwdriver and spur on, turn them all around. Then we tip them out onto our tray or in another bucket, whichever you like, ready to be put back in the plate. Now they're all nice and clean. The creosote's all come off, all the bits of dirt and leaves and looking good. So the next stage of the process, put all the pins back in the holes. <laughs> we'll see how quickly we can do this. <laughs> yeah. There's a fair few, isn't there, Dad? You work in rows, yeah. There's a nearly 150 pins. Depending on the size of machine you've got, the bigger machines have up to 180, 200 pins. <sighs> That's it. The kind of an acceptable tolerance would be about 10% of the pins per change. I think you'll be operating the machine well and not damaging them. We have some people that hardly damage any, and we've got some people that try and straighten them back out. So, yeah, and at this point, it's a good point. We've cleaned them. We can have a look at the pins as we're putting them in, and just by visually assessing them, we can tell that they're machined well, they're ready to go. If there's any slightly bent ones or frayed ones or or slight damages to it, we can take them out and chuck them aside and replace them with a new shiny pin supplied by us through our website or give me or dad a call. So now we're going to take the guard rail out, um, the piece that's broken off. Uh, we just take the locating pin out that stops the guard sliding. Um, there's a piece of guard left in here that broke off, so we just have a a screwdriver or punch and just tap that out. This runs round a rail. There we are. So, so we, um, we're going to fit the new guard on now. We've taken the pin out uh, and we're going to just clean round the rail, make sure there's no dirt in here. And uh, it's good to lubricate it a bit, ready for the new guard. Bit of WD-40 or grease whatever you've got at your disposal. Um, and we offer the new guard up to the rail and we should be able to just tap it in with a hammer. Set, I have one here. We should be able to just, and it should just follow around the rail. So you see I've sped Dad up here, he doesn't hammer this quickly in life, but it's shown that the guard is just slightly longer than the plate because we've designed for different machines. So just cut this bit off. So we put the, the locating screw back in just to hold the guard from sliding we are yeah so we've got our new guard on so the next stage is uh, we'll put our top on dad has finished bolting the top back onto the plate so we're just setting up now we've got the rock spike under the weight to prevent that from harming anybody and we've now got our trolley that we're going to wheel the post plate underneath because it's safe to do so and once we've done that we are going to lower the telemast down through the plate so it can reattach itself with the weight once we get the rock spike out of the way once she's back onto the the mast as we pulled her up we'll then obviously put that final retaining plate on the very bottom that we showed how to take off and the job is done ready till the next service <laughs>